Hello, and welcome to our video about the best places to visit in Canada. Canada is a vast country with diverse landscapes, from towering mountains and pristine lakes to vibrant cities and quaint small towns. In this video, we'll take you on a tour of some of the most beautiful and exciting destinations in Canada, showcasing the unique culture and beauty of each location. From the cosmopolitan cities of Toronto and Vancouver to the natural wonders of Banff National Park, we've got it all covered. In this video, we'll show you some of the top destinations in Canada, including popular tourist hotspots and hidden gems that are off the beaten path. Whether you're interested in exploring the great outdoors, trying delicious food, or experiencing the local arts and culture scene, Canada has something for everyone. So get ready to pack your bags and join us on this exciting adventure through the best places to visit in Canada. Number 1. CN Tower The CN Tower is a communications and observation tower made of concrete that rises to a height of 1,815 feet, 553.3 meters, in the heart of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. When it was finished in 1976, it was the tallest freestanding building in the entire globe. A popular tourist destination, the CN Tower has observation decks with views of the city and a rotating restaurant. Along with having antennae for mobile telephony and television and radio broadcasts, it also functions as a significant communications hub. Number 2. Nathan Phillips Square. In Toronto, Canada, close to the intersection of Queen Street West and Bay Street, lies a public area known as Nathan Phillips Square. Nathan Phillips, who led Toronto as mayor from 1955 until 1962, is honored by the name of this building. A well-liked location for events and gatherings, Toronto City Hall is housed in the square. It is the main structure of the city's government. One of the square's features is a sizable reflecting pool. There is also a stage for performances, and in the winter there is an ice rink. Both tourists and residents use this well-liked tourist area to unwind and take in the city. Number 3. Humber Bay Arch Bridge A pedestrian and cycling bridge, the Humber Bay Arch Bridge is situated in Toronto, Canada. The white paint on the steel bridge arch helps it stand out against the surrounding landscape. It joins the communities of Park Lawn and Humber Bay Shores across the Humber River. The bridge, which was built in 1996, and has a distinctive arch design, offers beautiful views of the lake and the skyline of the city. It is a well-liked location for leisure activities, including walking and cycling, because it is a component of the Martin Goodman Trail. Number 4. Yonge Dundas Square In the heart of Toronto, Canada, is a public space called Yonge Dundas Square. It is a popular tourist destination and one of Canada's busiest public squares. The square is situated at the busy downtown Toronto crossroads of Yonge Street and Dundas Street, which is regarded as the center of the city. The Toronto Eaton Centre shopping mall is located in the plaza, along with a variety of stores, eateries and entertainment options. Concerts, movie screenings and cultural festivals are just a few of the events and festivals that the square is renowned for hosting throughout the year. Number 5. Gooderham Building In Toronto, Canada, at 49 Wellington Street East stands the Gooderham Building, also referred to as the Flatterun Building. It is regarded as one of the most recognizable monuments in the city and was constructed in 1892. The structure now houses a variety of stores, eateries and offices for numerous companies. The structure can be rented out for events as well. A heritage easement agreement protects the Gooderham Building, which is a recognized heritage property under the Ontario Heritage Act. The flatter and shaped structure, which gives it its name, is a favorite location for tourists and photographers. Number 6. Granville Island. Granville Island is a must visit destination in Canada, located in Vancouver, British Columbia. Public Indoor Market is the heart of Granville Island and offers a wide variety of fresh produce, seafood, baked goods, and artisanal crafts. Granville Island is home to numerous art galleries, theaters, and artisan workshops, showcasing the diverse talent of Vancouver's arts community. Beer lovers can enjoy a tour of Granville Island Brewing, one of Vancouver's oldest and most popular craft breweries. A great place for families, the Kids Market offers a wide range of toys, games, and activities for children of all ages. Enjoy the lively atmosphere of Granville Island, 
with talented street performers showcasing their skills throughout the day. Take a stroll through the campus of Emily Kerr University of Art and Design, one of Canada's top art schools, and view the impressive collection of public art on display. Number 7. Stanley Park Stanley Park is a beautiful park located in Vancouver, Canada, and it's definitely worth a visit if you're in the area. 10 kilometers, 6.2 mile. Seawall is perfect for walking, jogging, or cycling, and offers stunning views of the ocean and surrounding mountains. Totem Poles Park is home to a collection of totem poles, which are carved by indigenous artists and tell stories of their culture and traditions. The Vancouver Aquarium is located in Stanley Park and is home to over 50,000 animals, including beluga whales, sea otters, and dolphins. Rose Garden is home to over 3,500 roses, making it a popular spot for nature lovers and photographers. Beaver Lake is a great place to relax and enjoy nature, and you can even rent a canoe or paddle boat to explore the water. Lost Lagoon is a great spot for birdwatching, and you can often see ducks, geese, herons, and other wildlife. Number 8. Parliament Hill Parliament Hill is a must-visit destination for anyone traveling to Ottawa, the capital city of Canada. It is home to some of the country's most important buildings, including the Parliament buildings themselves, which house the Senate and the House of Commons. One of the main attractions on Parliament Hill is the changing of the guard ceremony, which takes place each morning during the summer months. The ceremony features a parade of Canadian soldiers in full-dress uniform, accompanied by a military band. Another popular attraction is the Peace Tower, which is located at the center of the Parliament buildings. Visitors can take an elevator to the top of the tower for a stunning panoramic view of Ottawa and the surrounding area. In addition to the Parliament buildings and the Peace Tower, there are several other points of interest on Parliament Hill, including the Centennial Flame, the Library of Parliament, and the sculpture of Queen Victoria. Number 9. Banff National Park Banff National Park in Canada is a must-visit destination for nature lovers and outdoor enthusiasts. Lake Louise is one of the most photographed spots in Canada. Take a walk along the lakeshore and enjoy the stunning views of the surrounding mountains. Banff National Park has over 1,600 kilometers of hiking trails, ranging from easy strolls to challenging multi-day hikes. Some of the most popular trails include the Plain of Six Glaciers Trail, Johnston Canyon Trail, and the Larch Valley Trail. The Icefields Parkway is a scenic drive that stretches from Lake Louise to Jasper National Park. Banff Upper Hot Springs is a great place to relax and unwind after a day of hiking or skiing. The natural hot springs have been a popular attraction for over 100 years. The charming town of Banff has plenty of restaurants, cafes, and shops to explore. Banff National Park is home to a variety of wildlife, including elk, moose, bighorn sheep, and grizzly bears. Number 10. Whistler Blackcomb Whistler Blackcomb is a popular ski resort located in British Columbia, Canada, and it is a great destination to visit for skiing and snowboarding enthusiasts. Whistler Blackcomb is known for its excellent skiing and snowboarding terrain. There are plenty of runs to suit every level of ability, from beginner to expert. Peak 2 Peak Gondola is a must-see attraction at Whistler Blackcomb. It connects Whistler and Blackcomb Mountains and offers spectacular views of the surrounding landscape. The pedestrian-only Whistler Village is the heart of the resort and offers plenty of shops, restaurants, and bars. For those looking for an adrenaline rush, the zipline is a great option. It takes you through the forest at high speeds, offering a unique perspective of the mountain landscape. The Whistler Olympic Plaza has an outdoor skating rink that's free to use. The Whistler Olympic Park offers a variety of winter activities, including skying, biathlon, and tobogganing.